Hi, this is Dr. Jayama, Jayama's chemistry class. Today we are going to learn about types of salts. Different type of salts are available in the nature. Number one, crystalline salt, amorphous salt, hydrated salt, anhydrous salt, efflorescent salt, deliquescent salt, hygroscopic salt, like this different type of salts are available. First we learn one by one. What is crystalline salt? Homogeneous salt bounded by plane surfaces at definite angles to one another and having a definite geometric shape is known as crystalline salt means it contains a definite geometric shape it contains a definite geometric shape to one another means suppose you take sugar or you take diamond or you take salt means they are crystalline why it is a homogeneous solid but they are bounded with the plane surfaces and they are bonded with the means you take any crystalline salt by uh, what you giving small small pieces that piece also contains small crystal that is called a crystalline salt means it contains a definite shape so that is why they are called crystalline crystalline salt what do you mean by amorphous amorphous means amorphous may or may not be homogeneous they are not bounded by plane surfaces do not have a regular geometric shape means they are amorphous they are not having a definite geometric shape so that is why here what happened we can call it as amorphous suppose you take calcium carbonate it is powdery amorphous so if you want to know the difference between these two means crystalline and amorphous you take little amount of salt and do like this and you take little amount of powder and do like this what you will get here you will get blade why they are having sharp edges to one another if they are what you call naturally what happened why means if what happened it is what you call hard surface so it will become what it is converting to water uh, you will get blade why they are having sharp edges to one another that is about what crystalline amorphous means it is like powder powdery amorphous substance so that's why we can call it as uh, what amorphous salts next we'll go for hydrated salt what do you mean by hydrated suppose you take cuso4 dot 5h2o this we can call it as hydrated salt the salt which contains a fixed number of water molecules this is fixed dot 5h2 only why 5 moles of water molecules are bonded to copper sulfate it contains a definite geometric shape means here what happened here this is known as hydrated means a substance is bonded with a fixed number of water molecules with loose chemical combination with loose chemical combination is known as what a hydrated here what happened why by heating what happened this water molecule what happened disappear suppose by heating what happened it is converted into cso4 means five water molecules are evaporated removed by heating that is known as hydrated salt what do you mean by anhydrous anhydrous means this is anhydrous cuso4 is anhydrous means what without water molecules here there is no water molecule then we can call it as anhydrous anhydrous means without water molecules so here cuso4 this is known as anhydrous so a hydrated salt by liberating by loses its water of crystallization and change into anhydrous 
means anhydrous may or may not be hydrated suppose you take this take another example suppose you take nacl it is an anhydrous salt so that is why here what happened a hydrated salt by donating its water of layer loses water of slation and convert into anhydrous anhydrous sodium chloride anhydrous copper sulfate like that next a fluorescent salt what do you mean by efflorescent suppose efflorescent salt means here you take a, a salt a salt when exposed to air at room temperature a hydrated salt when exposed to air at room temperature it absorb moisture it absorb moisture or you take it loses uh, water of slation and change into powdery amorphous substance it is changed into water powder that salt is converted into what powdery amorphous substance powder that anhydrous substance when exposed to air a salt when exposed to air it loses water of slation to air and it is count converted into powdery powdery amorphous substance then we can call it as what a fluorescent salt and this phenomenon is called a fluorescence so here what do you mean by deliquescent salt suppose a salt a anhydrous salt when exposed to air suppose you take for example you take a, a ferrous chloride or a p2o5 or you take a, a magnesium chloride this salt when exposed to air at room temperature it absorb moisture and change into liquid change into liquid suppose you take p2o5 like this salts when exposed to air at room temperature it absorb moisture and change into liquid state then it is known as deliquescent salt then what do you mean by hygroscopic salt a salt on exposed to air at room temperature it absorb moisture but it does not change its state but it does not change its state means a crystalline salt when exposed to air at room temperature it absorb moisture but it does not change now once again what is the difference between these three a fluorescent salt a salt when exposed to air it is converted into powder it is called a fluorescent salt means a salt when exposed to air it absorb moisture and change into liquid state that is called a deliquescent salt when exposed to air salt when exposed to air at room temperature it loses water of store it absorbs also sometimes and but it does not change its state then we can call it as water hygroscopic salts at this stage i would like to means introduce another one drying agents what do you mean by drying agent a substance which absorb moisture from other substance suppose you take p2o5 like h2so4 a substance when exposed to air at room temperature it absorb moisture but it does not change its state suppose like oven oven what is the duty of oven just removal of water similarly here drying agents which absorb moisture from other substance but it does not change its state by using various of instruments like dyeing tubber a uh, drying tube like that once again here crystalline salt when exposed to air means here a salt they are bonded with a definite angles to one another they are crystalline salt here there is no what you call bond angles to one another they are powdery amorphous salts hydrated means it is fixed with a 
what a definite molecules fixed number of water molecules anhydrous means there is no water molecules here a salt exposed to air it loses water oxidation and change into what powdery amorphous substance here a salt when exposed to air it absorb moisture but it changes into what a liquid state here exposed to air it loses water oxidation but it does not change its state it is known as hydrated salt drying agents means a substance when exposed to air but it does not change its state so thank you here if you like this video ee video meeku nachindante like cheyandi share cheyandi subscribe cheyandi and comment cheyandi inka meeku edaina topic lo kavali ante please comment cheyandi so ikkada thank you thank you very much